Hey, hey, my pretty ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel for know him. I'm Suki, now don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so anytime I do new upload, you be the first person to know, you guys. I'm up and close and personal because it, it has to be up close because there's something here that I did individually and I need for y'all to stay tuned and watch and see what it is. So, if you guys really, really want to see what I use on my skin tone, on my skin type, and what's on my face that I used in this video if you haven't seen the description box below and in that thumbnail. Come on now. Stay tuned, keep on watching, get straight into the video. Hey, my pretty ladies and gentlemen we are here with yes another lash extension video yeah um i've done one a while ago i believe i'll leave that video right up here if i remember what it is but yeah i got this kiss kit bring the salon home kiss lash couture lux Tensions collection 3d diy flex lash extensions kit it has 40 curls in here it says all in one kit to apply and remove extensions look real lash extensions fibers last for up to two weeks it claims that it lasts for up to two weeks you guys i'm not about to try out no up to two week trial but i will put them on for you guys so you know how to apply them and then it has the instructions on the back it says how to apply, how to remove. Blase, 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 blase. Features flat roots for more natural look. 30 lashes in each cluster. Okay, 30 lashes in each cluster. Easier, faster application with pro results. It's like a magnetic, artificial lash type of thing going on here. So yeah, it has a six month shelf life, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. On here it says DC and J curls. So it has short, short, medium, and medium. I wish it came with long, but that's okay. We're gonna work with what we got. Oh shit, I ripped it. Didn't mean to do that. All right, you guys, so it has our spoolie. It has a lash applicator, the lashes, and it also has like these little bowls right here. It's glue pockets, it says. Then you have your adhesive and your semi, you have your adhesive here and your semi imperfect adhesive right here. So this is what the tweezer look like you guys i like this something to keep yeah here is the spoolie and what it looks like so this white bottle is the remover and then the black bottle is the adhesive so i'm gonna go ahead and give this bottle a shake and that's what it looks like you guys i'm gonna go ahead and put some drops right in here oh it comes out thick it was really thick not a lot in here so you know all right let's go ahead and give this a whirl let's give this a go honey i'm also needing a handheld mirror and also a little fan okay so let's go ahead first and start on this i'm going to zoom you guys in and go ahead and brush my lashes upward and on top downward just to make sure they're nice and clean let's go ahead and take that tweezer okay since I'm close up, I can show you guys how the lashes look. So this is how they look. And that is the adhesive right there. So let's go ahead and start with the mediums. Ooh, they come off so easy, which is nice. So this is how this is how the medium look. I don't know if you guys can see it. You're gonna grab it from like the tip right there. I wanna dip it in. Because we're gonna go under the lashes, okay? under the lashes and we're gonna look up and we're gonna place just like that it's gonna keep doing the same process So put it on top of the lash and not on top and not, you know, so you can put it under, you know what I mean? And 
I don't know if you guys can see the difference already. But it looks really good. Really, really natural. You can clearly see it already how it's looking. I wish it was long because long would be really nice back here. But hey, this is what it came with. Probably will end up using this whole row down here. I like how it sticks so easily. It's not really hard to stick. It sticks so, so, so easily. Like, it's crazy. And I think you end up using this whole thing for one set. Honestly. Because it's already going so fast. In my opinion. And I am kind of setting them close. I'm trying to achieve some thickness. If I can't get the length, I would love some thickness. And you'll be able to see it better when, like, look. Can you see it? Yeah, you'll be able to see them better when, like, there's a, a lighter base behind my eyes. So, so far, that's five clusters. And I'm noticing it doesn't take a lot of this adhesive either. This is a good way to, um, let, me, let me get something white so you guys can see the length. So far, this is looking really good, you guys. Really, really good. I'm loving it already. Okay, let me keep on going. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the short ones now because I want to make sure I have enough of the long ones if I need it to fill in the back. Now we're gonna go in with the short one. Yeah, if they would have just put long ones in here, this would have been a perfect, perfect, because I'm liking the way it's coming out already. But if they would have put long it would have been just amazing it's also hard to do this when you're not um like pulling your lid up you know if you pull your lid up it's easier you see how you can see them you know if you can pull your lid up same time but since i'm doing a tutorial it's kind of hard to um actually do that Looks really good. Look natural, not too much, you know what I mean? Look like more of that everyday lash type of thing going on here. Going right here. I feel like it's missing right here. I don't know what's in this adhesive, but it's sticking really well. Can you guys see it? Like you see? I don't know what's in this adhesive, but that's that eye and this is this eye. So they're looking good to me. Um it's going with probably one more. Let's see what one more is gonna look like. I'm gonna do one more because it's looking weird to me. I don't know why. Shit, I got the whole lash in the damn glue. Alright, this is the last one. Gotta make sure I place it in the right area. I'm not wanting to stick, y'all. Alright. So this is what it's looking like. I'm gonna take my fan. I'm just gonna dry it. I think it looks really good. All right. 
Now you can look at it and see what it needs. So I want to grab a couple of long ones and just kind of put them in here sparsely. I have three of them left over from that first line. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put one here. Put that in really nicely. Grab another one. I'm gonna put that one here, just like that. I think this is really, really, really pretty. Like I could, um, I can actually wear these, you guys. Now I'm gonna take the clamps and I'm gonna clamp together kind of scared because I don't know if it's going to be like the regular adhesive that I do use it looks really good you guys alright so can you see it let me show you the top of it this is what it looks like and this is the top. I'm gonna see if I can touch it. Yeah, it's really, really, it's dry. Like, they're not wet at all. Like, you know how adhesives still have like a little tacky wetness to it? There's none of that. All right, so that, that's how it looks, you guys. I think it looks really, really good. I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera, finish up this other one, finish my face up, and then come back and let you guys really, really see it, okay? All right, you guys, so here they are up close and personal. The only thing is that I feel like is that they came off a little bit easy when I want to take one off and replace it. But they also go on really, really easy. But I'm going to go ahead and go off camera, finish up the rest of my face so you guys can really, really, you know, really, really see these lashes. Like, it did such a difference to my eyes. Like, I love it. So natural. Be right back. All right, my pretty. So this is the final look going in with those kiss clustered lashes y'all it came out so natural and pretty i did do them really really close together so i can get that fullness that everybody loves to go for so it does have a good fullness to it but this is how they came out you guys really really pretty you can't detect anything at the top which i love like look at that you can detect anything and then you have the bottoms that's what they look like so you guys, this is the final look going in with the Kiss Individual Clustered Lashes, you guys. I hope you really, really enjoyed this video. I hope I taught you a little something, something. I hope I made it to where you guys can get something a little bit on the pricier side, budget, girl friendly, but still look like a Barbie, period, okay? So if you guys really did love how I achieved this look and how it looks on my skin tone, on my skin type, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, I love my pretty. Bye.